Samsung is working on a new feature called Now Brief, which might be introduced later this year with One UI 8. This functionality is presently being tested and was discovered concealed in the most recent version of Samsung's Modes and Routines app. With the new short, you can quickly design unique cards to help you organize your everyday activities. These cards may appear at particular times, say anything you want them to say, and even conduct actions when tapped on. Here's what you can do with these customized cards. Set the time and day. You determine when the card will display. For example, you may set a card to appear every weekday at 12 p.m. to remind you to check your calendar or activate your music app in the morning. Add actions. You may program the card to do anything when you tap it, such as launch an app, alter a setting, or send a message. Customize the appearance. You may choose an icon, give the card a title, and include a brief message. This makes the card both practical and visually appealing. For example, suppose you leave work every day at 5 p.m. You may schedule a card to arrive at that time on weekdays. When it displays, just tap it to launch your preferred app for monitoring bus and rail itineraries. It saves time while also improving the functionality of your phone. This functionality is currently only available in Korean and is not yet completely functional. Drew Vang Eisen, a tipster, discovered it and tested it, but the card did not show, indicating that Samsung is still working on it. The functionality may be available shortly in a future update for the Galaxy S25 and other smartphones. Samsung is going to release a new beta version for the Galaxy S25 series. The One UI 8 beta may second remove the predicted back gesture functionality from the system. When users swipe from the edge, the predictive back motion shows them a glimpse of the previous screen. It promotes smoother navigation. However, feature may be removed in the forthcoming beta for the Galaxy S25 series. In One UI 7, this functionality is only available in Google Apps. It does not work in Samsung's own apps or in others. However, this week, indicators indicated that Samsung might include this useful functionality in additional apps in the new One UI 8 beta for the Galaxy S25. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here, please subscribe. Peace out.